Nearly 65% of formerly incarcerated people released from California prison systems return within three years. Bank of America and the Los Angeles Rams have partnered to tackle this systemic problem and form an initiative to provide second chances for former inmates to build a better future. This is their journey. My name is Juan, and I'm from the city of uh, Long Beach, California. My name is Kenzo Sowe, and I grew up in Cameroon, Africa. I was really tight with my family, really close to my mother. Um, there was a turning point in our life where we all got separated at a young age and went uh, to foster care. And um, that's when I separated from my siblings. And I want to say I went around to about 10 different families in about four years. Um, I was too young to ever even know what, why. I was still young and looking for that love and seeking for love. I, we came out here, but the same thing. It was just, it could, things couldn't work and it just, it went left. Me and my mom ended up in the streets trying to, trying to survive and then we ended up in about like two to three shelters uh, and I kind of turned to the streets. From there, I, I got incarcerated the first time for something really petty. Between that time, I want to say I spent over a decade of being incarcerated. I'm in there just, it's just a dark place. And there was a point in my life where I realized that I didn't want to wake up every day in there anymore. Oh man, and it's, it's crazy because you know, even my own my own mama just was pretty much pushing away from me and, and telling me that she had enough of me and, and that broke me. I didn't know what to do, so but just to try to live my life. And and I think that's where like the most like empowering moment happened to me. After getting released from incarceration, I, I immediately reached out to the anti racism coalition. I got into college courses, I started working out, um, I started writing music as well. I gave my life to these streets, uh, I barely made it I, 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 I my life I've heard about to the streets, opportunity uh, with the Rams um, through ARC, and uh, man, <laughs> I was like, uh, man, this I gotta get this. I, like, I gotta get this opportunity. I gotta take it on. I gotta take it serious. Um, they have got a call from the Rams saying that they needed some guys for this program that was being brought up, and. That is when um, I realized that I wanted better. You know, before that, I didn't know that I had a choice, that I could want better. I didn't know what better was. I didn't know what light was. It was just pure tunnel vision dark. You know, when I think about this program and what it does about providing second chances, I think we can all relate to decisions in the past that we've all made that perhaps if given a second chance, we might make a different decision. And that's what this is about. And in this case, it's teaching them about the LA Rams organization and having them rotate around the various departments of what it takes to operate a professional football team, but also having them come to Bank of America, work with some of my bankers, have them understand the importance of financial literacy, understanding how to ha handle their own personal finances, and then using that for their day-to-day -day living so they can be successful long-term. After I did Hangover 3, and right when we were starting War Dogs, um, I chose to leave the film business and start an organization that helped people coming home from prison and jail and juvenile hall called the Anti-Recidivism Coalition, ARC. In California, our recidivism rate was somewhere around 60%. And after 10 years of ARC, uh, the rate of our members is around 5%. Both Juan and Kenzo were my students in juvenile hall, so I knew them when they were 15, 16 years old, facing life in prison. I just really believe that people can change. I really believe especially young people can change. When uh, Bank of America and the Rams reached out to kind of partner on um, this initiative, I thought it was a great opportunity because I feel, you know, so many times people make mistakes and, you know, not often they're, like, often they're not forgiven for their mistakes that they've made. And so, you know, when they, you know, go to jail and they get out, they don't have resources, they don't have the things that they need to pick up their life and, you know, try to be better people and show them that they can be forgiven and, and they do have opportunities to still be successful because I feel like a lot of people are worthy of another opportunity.
you know, and I grew up loving sports, really liking sports. Then to come to a sport world and realize that it's not just about the score, touchdowns, stuff like that, that it's bigger. It feels good when I'm out there in the community serving with the Rams and other partnerships and just giving back and putting a smile on people's faces and, you know, broken families out there as well. And, and It's a lot bigger than just the football field, but uh, to fulfill and, and, and have a great organization um, that has, that has a, a great uh, purpose and mission behind them. So to see the Rams' commitment, to see these guys actually be able to leave the concrete jungle of downtown LA and be living in suburbia in a nice place that they can call their own, to see the Instagram stories of them cooking in their own kitchen or kicking their feet up and watching a movie or hosting their family at Christmas in their place and have that type of growth, seeing them grow professionally, see them grow as young men has been unbelievable. And no one, no sports team, in this country that I know of has ever done anything like this. Rams involvement in the community has been like really amazing and special to see. Um, even when I first got here, um, you know, they, they asked me, you know, what I wanted to do in the community. And that was that was um, that was really cool to see. Wanting to leave the world a better place than I, you know, than I left it. Juan and Kenzo, first of all, it's been great spending time with you. Continue to learn continue to put in use the things that we talked about, and let's stay in touch. We are here as your friends for the long haul, and we wish you nothing but the best for both of you. I, I never knew it would be this type of opportunity, honestly. This is one of the greatest opportunities um, uh, since, because I've been home about, it's going on three years in March. This was an opportunity at a second chance to Come on, let's get let's just go. learn so much, experience so much, and um, get feel get welcome, get very welcome. And, found that family that I needed, that I always wanted my whole life. No matter, um, you know, your darkest days and how dark your life may seem, just don't give up. Fight it with help, you know, and just battle it out and be strong. And uh, just try not to fight this battle alone. Come on, have fun with your family. One, oh, three. One, two, three. Three. I couldn't even change I made it out, now they love to say my name